perspective, you're changing your camera view, you're building your composition, but you're not changing the geometry or the materials, what I recommend you do is go up here and freeze tessellation and freeze the geometry. So if you are not needing to see any changes in the displacement or you're not changing the geometry at all, what you can do is go ahead and then change your camera view. You can even change your lighting and it's not gonna calculate the tessellation. It's not gonna calculate the optic X every single time you do any type of change in your Redshift render view. So I'm just moving the, the key light around and rotating my camera. And you can see we're not waiting for those processes to happen before we get to the progressive rendering state. So if I deactivate those freezes, you're gonna see that we're calculating both those things each time. And that is just a huge drain on resources when you're rendering. So I hope you enjoyed that Redshift render quick tip. If you wanna see more, let me know, drop a comment. Thanks for watching.